Hello YouTubers, um, entrepreneurs, millionaires, future millionaires, uh, thanks for spending some time with me. My name is Ali and um, on this channel we uh, promote uh, online entrepreneurship and uh, basically working from home. I've been doing this for quite some time but now it's becoming very essential for people to work from home and uh, I just ran into this article with uh, CNBC, they're talking about how uh, women are actually uh, uh, are suffering more with this uh, unemployment thing. Let me play this uh, article, I mean this uh, video real quick. It's really, really short and it um, basically um, gives you prediction on what would happen if school doesn't open in the fall and how parents would have to deal with it, especially women having to stay home and uh, maybe homeschool and uh, um, or if they have to work, maybe uh, do some pay for babysitters and so on and so forth. That's what they discuss on that issue. So I want to share that with you guys real quick. I'm just going to play a couple of clips here. Now is whether schools will... One of the biggest issues hanging over the whole economy right now is whether schools will reopen in the fall. If not, many parents may have to choose between their jobs and their families, and that could have an especially big impact on women. Julia Borson following the story for us. Julia? Well, Kelly, women have already been hard, hit harder by the crisis. 11.2% of women over age 20 are unemployed. That's a full percentage point higher than... Look at these percentages, guys. 11.2% um, women and 10.2% men. Uh, women actually uh, is a, a whole percentage higher than, um, than uh, men. And... Um, it's kind of frightening, frightening on this end and that end, both end actually. The unemployment's becoming a pretty horrific thing anymore, and um, to work from home it seems like it's the only option anymore, and um, that's what I want to propose to, uh, to you guys on this channel. If you're new to my channel, uh, please uh, click that subscribe button and um, uh, give me a thumbs up or thumbs down, however you feel about this video. If you're happy about this video, Give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. I'm okay. Either way, just tell me how you feel about it. And if you have any comments at all, please leave them in, a, in a, uh, leave them below, and I'd be more than happy to read them and respond to them too. Um, the offers that I'm going to be putting in the um, in the description below, they're handpicked offers, and they all guarantee to sh to uh, uh, to give you results. I have been doing this for quite a long time, and I know there's a lot of um, terrible offers out there and there's a lot of good offers out there so I, I try to really uh, do a lot of studying a lot of research to um, uh, to, um, to be, before I promote an offer or, or recommend an offer I like to do a little bit of studying to make sure that it is a good offer let's uh, listen some more to this um, CNBC report than men as of the latest June unemployment numbers. And that's in part because women hold jobs in the sectors that have been hit especially hard by COVID. Now, throughout the pandemic, women have said they're more likely than men to be concerned about running out of money within three months, whether they're employed or not. This is according to... This is pretty terrible. Can you imagine just running out of money in three months? And with you being a mother and having taken care, taking care of children and so on and so forth, you have a family to take care of. That would be a pretty horrific thing to even um, imagine. It was a study from USC, and now working mothers are bearing the brunt of child care as well during these stay-at-home orders. Now, they are spending on average 15 more hours a week on domestic labor than men, according to BCG. And Catalyst finds that women are twice as likely as men to be responsible for homeschooling. Harvard economist Claudia Golan. That is so true. Uh, women uh, tend to um, uh, homeschool kids a lot more than men because men are, I don't know if it's something they're, um, I don't know. It's in their nature, or they're not available, or but uh, women are more nurturing. They they attend to their children a lot more. So with them working a lot, and the kids are not going to school, and this is really going to throw a curveball on on everything that's happening right now. Financially, it's difficult, and the time is disappearing, and uh, you're not making enough money at work, and the the employment is is uh, pretty high also. So. It's, it's not looking pretty good, and that's why I want to suggest these um, uh, work-from-home options. Let's listen to some more. 
tells us that there could be real long-term damage to women's careers um, if offices open before childcare and schools fully restart because men could be more likely to return to work. Now that, of course, could... I don't understand what they're trying to say here. Partial opening of children's care services at the same time that office reopen will um, will be the moment women will take a big hit. I don't understand exactly what that means. Possible uh, ramification for later in women's career. I'm, I'm not quite getting it here. Could lead to growing pay and promotion gaps, not just now, but also for years to come. Catalyst, a firm which advises companies on how to best work with women, it says that now is the time for companies to make major changes in the workplace to help level the playing field. What, ki what kind of changes, Julia, are they talking about? Well, I think there are a number of things here. I mean, on one hand, you have people working at home, and there are a lot of concerns about how women could be dealing with so much more of the work at home with their children. But at the same time, if you make flexible work something that's possible for everyone going forward, um, the ability to work sort of on your own schedule, that could be beneficial. And also, I'm just hearing a lot from companies about the importance of really judging employees and measuring whether or not they're ready for promotion on much more standardized scales. And Guys, I want you to pay attention to this uh, um, little banner they have here. Women see higher unemployment than men do. I mean, than men during the pandemic. So just to, just to keep that in mind, if you guys want to look for work from home option, check out the uh, stuff that I have listed uh, below. You, you, you'll definitely uh, be very happy that you did. And really trying to make sure that you take um, bias, uh, uh, sort of uh, d all different kinds of bias, both implicit and explicit, outside of that process of evaluating people for promotion and pay raises. I just want to make a short video for you guys to, uh, to, to kind of give you another option on what's available out there. So, uh, I don't know, keep it in mind. Maybe if you're something you're interested in, um, um, uh, check it out. I have the, all, all the links in the description. And before I let you guys go, I want to do this real quick. Hang on a second here. I want to bring up my, um, give me one moment. I want to bring up my channel. And I want to bring up this thing here. Okay, I'm going to pause it. And what I want you guys to do, please don't forget to subscribe, share, if you've got any uh, value out of this video, please share it. And uh, don't forget to uh, take that bell notification. This way, if you, uh, if you, um, um, this way you won't miss out on any up upcoming videos because I upload quite often. Um, what else? Uh, hit the like button or dislike button, either one of these buttons. If it, it depends on how you, what do you think about this video. And uh, last but not least, if you have any questions, um, Leave them in the comment below, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys. And uh, also, don't forget, I'm going to have um, a bunch of uh, offers over here. So you guys, please um, check them out, and I guarantee you, you'll be very happy that you did. Thanks for spending some time with me. You guys have a wonderful day, and I look forward to seeing you on the inside. Bye-bye.